So, uh, we just decided that we're going to uh, fill our wood bag and just take while we're up there, take the trash out and the poop bucket and dump the pee bucket and, uh, yeah. What's so, the weather like outside? Why are you dressed like that? It's cold <laughs> and it's windy and it's, it's snowing in there, so. Right, here we go. Let's do it. Um, yeah. So in the head, um, I already started, but uh, usually I take the pee bucket, I already dumped it, I put some water and soap in it, pushed it, dumped it overboard, um, obviously, that's not so dry there, but uh, I just took, this is the garbage that we use, we put a color paper in, or you can put it in the bucket, but I just dumped it in there, um, and this is where the solid waste goes. Um, and I just get a little bit full, so I thought I'd start changing it while we have the time. Um, so, so I kind of pull the bag out. It's pretty full. Um, and I'll probably just take all the other garbage and dump it in there too. But as uh, you can see, the bucket is pretty dry. I need another garbage bag. But I, um, I think you come out and, uh, you know, be used for other things if not enough to clean. Um, clean that but, uh, yeah, I usually need to grab a garbage bag. Right? Thanks for the dip. And let's pull this out. And while I'm at it, I'm right here, come under your leg. I got a compost bucket for food, like, you, like cut up and stuff like that. It stops the smell and it keeps the garbage cleaner. Um, and I'll just dump that in there. And, you know, to kind of clean it later, I'll probably dip it in the ocean and give it a swirl. But that just sits under the step there. So I put in that garbage. We used to go bagless, but then just kind of found that we always dump it in a bag to begin with. Uh, I think once we start getting more underway, like uh, going three miles out or or whatnot, we'd probably just leave a bucket and then dump it. That way it's less garbage, less waste. Just goes right in the ocean. Um, but usually if I was putting, um, this is the compost. I get cedar chips, cedar smells the best. Seems to work really well too. And we can get a big bag of it and it lasts for like months. So that's just kind of cover up the bottom so uh, poop and stuff can just hang out. And I put this back in the pot. That's a gallon for pee. I can do at least five peas. Got them maybe like only two. But just gotta gauge it. Um, and I made modifications to the toilet, and being that uh, to keep the toilet seat in place, I put um, probably should put bolts in. This probably won't last in heavy, heavy weather, but I put those sticky pads in just to kind of keep it from toilet seat from moving around. Um, I tried other things, and only to find that the the funnel got in the way. But this is a slide in and out toilet. You're gonna track when we um, in there. You gotta track in there that the toilet slides in and out of. And it's a through holes are under the cabinet there. And then um, you know other there's two through holes under there for the toilet and the shower. But I just kinda take the um, toilet get over the pump and then you know, I can either slide it back, so then, you know, if someone needs to change, they can easily change. 
for me to get access to them these here. I got oils. Um, just some random stuff that I feel like I could just put there. But this is all screwed down to uh, fiberglass uh, nuts. That's where fiberglass is a hole for the liner. And um, so the base doesn't go anywhere, and then we tie the base bungee to the toilet. I can see that. So I got bun hooks on the side here, bungee goes there, one on the other side. And then I got extra bottles for people who don't like to go pee you know, off, the, off the, the boat. Or pee like just right there, for the companion way like Adam does. Um, they can pee in here. If you're a girl, you usually sit. If you don't like peeing standing up in a bottle, you can pee sitting down. Um, you got one more tie. Right. Yeah, I do a round turn to NASA too. You know, it's probably, you know, this works in most cases for holding on me, but most likely, um, I think in really extreme weather, it's probably be pretty hard to go potty. Probably in most, um, hugs anyway. But, uh, yeah, corn is not going to go anywhere. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Most cases, it stays quiet. Got a handle right here, two handles right here. Um, I could also brace myself against, you know, I sit down. And I, you know, I usually sit here like that. Toilet paper is in here. Um, and uh, I can usually pull it between the cracks and the door. But yeah, this is usually close stuff like that um, and then you know when I'm done you know, I wash my hands and I'll spray the funnel with a little bit of like soapy water um, and to kind of just clean it like a toilet but yeah that pretty much sums up in the toilet um, yeah I haven't had any really major complaints except the toilet seat moving on me when we're healed over and that's what I'm trying, experimenting with, with the sticky tabs, which seem to be holding up the last couple, in the last sale we did. Two, last sale, I don't know. But, um, yeah, it seems to be holding. Uh, and I got, for, you know, we started doing more in, um, sailing. Also, we got more bottles. Um, all gallon laundry. Um, another one back by in here. So we got a total of, let's see, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, six gallons for holding pee. Seven, eight, nine in addition to Adam. So, I mean, nine gallons, like two jerry cans of pee storage for the most part. Um, yeah. That's part of the cleaning process. Um, and then, yeah, I took out the garbage for here. And then, uh, usually, go on deck. Any more garbage? No, I don't know. That's not a parasite. I guess they're still good. They're, like, so hard. Just gotta, like, feel them. I haven't seen them be allowed to get in for And like I very rarely take out the poop bag. It's probably like once a month or once every two months. They have more in on land. Probably quite a bit more when we're underway. Or have more people on board. Yeah, I think we're okay. Uh, I think I should throw away the cream. Yeah.
his hat, and then a bag of cedar chips, which I usually refill the cedar bucket, or cedar bag. Um, next is... Laundry. Grab the towel. Um, I do like a quick sink. Mm. So this is a, a really classic Windex. <laughs> um, you don't usually use this on boats because it's got ammonia in it. Well, if I want to generally clean things with it, it's probably good. But uh, it's not safe for any Lexan, any plastics. It will, it will scratch them and fog them up. But for the smear and the sink, it's probably just fine. Um, Where did you get that Windex? Did it come with the boat? Yeah. That's like 20 year old Windex. That's the good stuff. Yeah. And I actually, that's the first time I actually read the label. Just now? Yeah. I actually had ammonia in it. I never really looked at it. But, um, yeah, I was kind of, I don't usually, sometimes I don't even use the Windex. I just noticed the gear was getting gross and, um, uh, the walls. But the door, I have got two space all over it. Oh, it was my toothpaste, eh? <laughs> That's what we're going with. Got the motorized toothbrush. And mask on the leaves. Clean the toilet. One bad thing is with the toilet being where it's at now, the camera's the whole toilet seat up, the light gets in the way, and I'm debating whether or not I should cut this hole bigger, which kind of pisses me off thinking because we shorten the toilet by quite a bit, um, uh, like a year or two ago to make it, make this idea work. And, um, it, it's doing, it's fine, but yeah, trying to get, for people who haven't messed with the toilet very often, it's, um, probably a little bit more um, tedious. We got the toilet lid or the, to the funnel from uh, this company called Separate. I think it's British. I don't know. Bought it when we first started making it like a couple years, like four years ago. Hand sanitizer is always good. Stays on water. So right now it's pretty uh, in short supply. Um, anything else you want to wash? Nope, I think everything is in that basket. Hand towels. I usually I washed my rug last weekend because Moosley brought a chipmunk onto it. Started rolling around with it uh, <laughs> there, which I wasn't too pleased about, so I immediately put it in the wash. Um, but yeah, I don't usually wash these. These just kind of hang out. Um, the bedding, like I said, gets washed every two weeks. Uh, and usually, like, the, if I put any sheet stuff on the settee, they get washed, like, maybe, like, once or twice a month. I want to change up the style of the look of the city.
You got all uh, your bandanas and stuff and all your face masks and stuff? Oh, uh, in my pocket? I guess I grab it on the way out. Oh, you mean for washing? Yeah. Yeah, let me see. I think so.